Biblia yako imekusaidia wewe kama engineer so far. Do you know how best you learn? Na sasa venye uliingia field na huko unajua chochote ulifanya? Did you have an exit strategy from school? Do you think it is important to pursue registration as a PE? These are some of the questions we put forward to our guest in this month's episode of And This is the Engineers Podcast. Na hii ni ile episode tutataka kusikia tena na tena. Remember you can find us on YouTube, Spotify and wherever you listen your podcasts from. Bwana Derek, karibu tu Mhandisi. Well, yes, as uh, the host has said, my name is Derek Wanyonyi. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer by training. I'm 29 years old and uh, yeah, I'm an electrical engineer and I currently work at a company called Powergen Renewable Energy as a senior engineer. Yeah, Derek. So, yeah. um tell us what you do in Powergen. What is it that you do in a day-to-day basis and um feel free also to uh, mention where you school okay maybe i can start with where you school uh, primary school uh, various <laughs> but uh class 8 nili malizia this is a small school called kitale academy high school i went to a school called uh, moi high school kabarak uh, that was from uh, 2008 to 2011 and kamaliza nikenda jkot juja for my degree in electrical engineering from 2012 to 2017 graduated in 27 november 2017 ah uh, nikapiga jua kidogo nje nikatama kidogo pata kazi unajua uh, waindi industrial area did that matter some some just some funny funny go downs workshops basically then uh, yeah ilikuwa it was a long year <laughs> But so yeah I, think I, I found uh, nikapata job yangu ya project and that was in uh, 2018 started as an intern basically not knowing anything so we had uh, another senior engineer in our team called Kennedy so Kennedy trained me in everything that I know so I just started as an intern you know kufanya kazi ya mkono fanya hii chora I didn't even know how to use tools you know tools like autocad most of the tools that we use nowadays autocad kina pvc kina helioscope i did not know any so ilikuwa tu kujifunza from scratch then nikaenda ke richo site sasa nilikuwa na tu a position uh, called uh, just a pm an apm an associate project manager uh, dealing with the uh, installations it was a uh, we have a mini grid in ke richo so just dealing with the uh, customer connections connecting people nyao kwa na stima kuweka kwa hiyo grid yetu I did that for two years from 2018 2019 then 2020 I relocated back to Nairobi now as a design engineer so basically still kind of what I do up to now so what are my roles basically it's just leading all engineering designs that we do in Powergen as a company when I mean engineering designs uh, first of all let me give you background uh, of what Powergen does we are a renewable energy company with a, the emphasis on our solar power So as our engineering team we basically usually do two things design uh, solar power systems and uh, distribution grid systems both are uh, low voltage and medium voltage so basically i lead uh, the design for the solar power systems so that's what i do and also how can i put this sometimes ukiuliza wange swali inakuwa ngumu kidogo kujibu so just owning designs leading designs uh, yeah, also project management owning a project like uh, seeing a project from conception to a survey mfanye design to through a uh, purchasing guiding purchasing people nunua hii nunua hii doing vendor vendor qualifications uh yeah and uh kup- kupeleka fikisha side to the construction though i used to do construction but i don't do it anymore then after construction also supporting on now commissioning and testing both the uh, kwenda site na peer remotely Yeah so that's I, be, I believe that's basically the main thing what I do in Pojan. It's kind of an all round. You do both designs, you do reviews, you unafunza watu wengine, you mentor watu wengine, wakuje upskilling your fellow employee, uh, colleagues. And yeah so I, I believe in a nutshell that covers basically what I do day to day. Just uh, leading designs and uh, any technical support that any any is, any tech people on site that are doing construction for our designs require sijui kama nimeweka vizuri sana i mean that is uh, uh, quite lengthy 
lakini direct turudi hapo kwa so you got your degree graduated and then you mentioned that you went to do work in some funny funny godowns talk to us about that how did you go about finding yourself to that position knowing very well that uh with engineer umetoka shule you you have the papers now you're supposed to get into a serious uh, position in this country <laughs> yeah that is something acha niongee vibaya kidogo okay kuna vinye tulikuwa na sijui ni ite kiburi okay this is a kiburi of course yeah you're, you're a trained engineer you went to school for five years it was not easy but i think when we graduated from school we had too many expectations you know i think i believe the prevailing thing me nikikwa shule ilikuwa or kupata kazi kenya power ketrako gdc e inaitwa ngai rerek so such so ile jo ulikuwa na kaivi ah wona sema tu na ati na ngoja ah mimi na ngoja kenya power waite ma graduate trainees ah nimesikia ketrako to reapply graduate trainees jini ni basa sa the more kanje the more reality start sitting you and kumbuka pia kama mwanaume ushamaliza shule unafanya nini home utafukuzwa so kazi iko unajua ulikuwa unakaa tu wewe unangojea ati ai mimi ni engineer sijui nataka sijui ni but uh, reality started hitting so you just go out you know unaku kwanza uko people don't really care to go na degree uko na degree sawa sawa can you do this kuja ufanye sasa unapata most of the people nilikuwa na work now huko okay most ni diploma holder but hata wengine tu ni sat nini but utenda tu you learn from them so yo swali unauliza ati how did i find myself it was just as a necessity because it have in a point you realize this white collar jobs umekuwa kikao kingoja siki ndio kuna watu wanazipata but wewe sasa imekukata na si and unajua the problem the biggest issue na engineering the longer unaka nje out of school na haupati kazi the difficult it's going to be for you going forward so it's just unapata tafuta anywhere where you can just gain experience so mimi ndo ilikuwa zani yangu so nilikuwa anga na hiyo mentality ati natafuta <laughs> ati nangoja kwenda ketrako sijui nini ah si tume graduate sijui ume graduate na hapa sijui okay it's not ideal for engineers i know a lot of engineers wamepitia masaibu but that's just how the reality of it was it was just weka kichwa chini i, ha- I had a girl kwa anapenda kutuambia kwa workshop hiyo degree yaka kwa bug umeipata sawa lakini landlord akikuja kukuitisha rent mwisho wa mwezi utamchunia ati kidogo hivi unamwambia shika ndio so it's just the sad reality of how it is the, the transition from campus to uh, working life and okay i don't know for others but for me now setuli graduate now the cohort tulitembea in Nairobi kidogo wachache sana walipata jobs ati hivyo tu ikutembea ilikuwa miaka ngapi yangu ilikuwa karibu ilikuwa almost uh, one and a half mimi kukaa sana kuna bisha ngo alipiga miezi miaka tatu jo wewe eh alafu sasa um, uh, did you like uli, ulikuwa na exit strategy did you have an exit strategy when you were in school like did you plan oh mimi nitamaliza shule i'll go do this ama uh, ilikuwa zile za acha shule ishe nitajipanga to be honest with you mean kwa for tia ai he ile ile kwa mkoa ngumu hata siko na nilikuwa tu nini focus ilikuwa tumalize tu shule <laughs> then what comes for what comes after that tutajua so i really did i wasn't really thinking at like siko ati nime plan at career path mimi tu nilikuwa najua nitafute degree kwanza alafu najua back then nilikuwa tu ah mimi nitafute tu degree once nipate degree job tu itakuja yenyewe so i think mentality yangu ilikuwa ngai Okay okay um typical situation ya <coughs> I mean a lot of graduates but um let's proceed to sasa um Derek knew you have an opportunity to play go down kwa Mwindi um how was the experience uh, is it something that you liked are there things that you learned that um uh I've met Derek who is today um uh, it's an experience you don't want to remember Okay I think it was a good experience kwanza kukurudisha down to earth kidogo you know your head was swollen nilikuwa nimefura so kurudisha down so you also learn that the engineering profession yes you have the papers but 
this equal by but ni ukweli ukikuja huku nje you learn that your papers are not everything you, you, there are some things you don't know how to do so your experience it taught me how to do a lot of things kama there's one job ulikuwa unafanya it was a motor rewinding it's it really it sucked like so hard to but i learned it like you could do it in your sleep so i i i think those experiences i i can't say it was i can't say that i regret it because uh, it helps me to kunifikisha kwenye niko sai it just uh, help me to get into the reality that this is the job market and this is what you have to do you have to go na mbiwanga that we pata two degree kazi takujia it doesn't work like that so i guess uh, but i don't regret the experience no i think it was it was a good experience at least it was a learning experience okay uh, pro- probably pesa iko mzuri lakini um, it gives it gave you the, the, the bit of character yeah, um, yeah. What na lipo how much was it 9500 Allah <laughs> was it's not even that you paid into your bank account it was every last friday of the month unahesabiwa tu zako 9500 and unahesabiwa eh okay pia ti liko ati una una ati bank account ati nhif nini ah huko ana vitu kai hizo atari atari uh, i also wanted to know kuna um, did you like use your degree knowledge in that case ama you were just rewinding us um uh, yeah mm-hmm. there is this you need to use to do ilikuwa ni etwanga electrical machine design eh ilikuwa ni ilikuwa 50 year yeah there's this unit it, it used to so, teach about pitch hey, what was this the cb pitch winding pitch so those things actually came to be useful there So I, I think that's what I also like that you you pick a point ulikuwa unaanza kuona yenyewe you know dealing with the star delta starters motor drives like ulikuwa unaona a lot of the things you used to learn in school unaanza kuiona sasa in practicality so yeah it, it was there but for me so far in my career naweza sema of the things yenye nilisoma yenye natumia sana sasa ni things like machines and power systems but unfortunately things like cg analog electronics I've never <laughs> I think I, <laughs> I don't think I've ever applied it but I, of course there are people who are so it, it ultimately it ultimately also depends now what's your what's your line of work what do you do so yeah uh, not you not having used it does not mean it cannot be used yeah. so probably in, in the coming days there could be an opportunity that could use that uh, yeah. so to talk about muinde kidogo um, how did you find yourself in power design over the need to create a commission for this this job uh, while to manga application it was for an engineering associate i applied but what can it me what's it called a letter of regret but uh, yeah the hr guy told me yeah uh, you've not unfortunately you're not qualified for this role but we'll keep your contacts if another role comes up that matches someone with your that we need someone with your skill we will contact you So it again at Evo, a few months later I just got a call come you are by the you remember you applied a job at Pozen uh we have a project in Kericho are you willing to relocate so me I was just yes 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 can you start even tomorrow <laughs> and so that's how I found my job in Pozen okay so ile job ilikuwa apply mwanzo ilikuwa job ya nini it was for uh it was I think just an engineering associate to uh, because remember that time Pogen was now the engineering team was now it, you remember it was it was now being constructed now from the ground up so that now they were required we need this we need this so they wanted an, just an engineering associate to aid with the designs and other and technical and tech support so i played for that with a friend of mine hata anakuanga schneider squeeze but atukupata but saw me months later nikaitwa wakaniambia yeah we, we we kept your contact so we have an internship hii ndio itakuwa kazi yako itakuwa kazi yako uh, iko kericho are you willing to relocate and ikakuwa tu hiyo nikaanza tu job the, like the next week so um ulitoka tu kwa muindi bila kufikiria mara mbili <laughs> okay it was not professional la huh? but yes, <laughs> I just resigned like immediately like immediately nimwambia to the next day like naishia <laughs> but ultimately yako na stress because alikuwa anajua you'll just get someone else in the next two weeks you know how this job market is so kama tu ah it's okay 
okay, so, so probably yeye ndio inamfanya analipa wa seven anajisikia i mean you either take it or or leave it i can't tell but okay i do i can't speak for every of them but based on what i went through and also some of my friends when i uh those places are they have a bad reputation of severely underpaying people not even for internship roles even even for someone with experience like five years experience so i don't know i don't know their motives but for me because i remember yeah there are these there are guys who are a shift professional and alikuwa analipanga ilikuwa sijui it was 21k and this guy is old he has like five four kids hata alikuwa anajiulizanga na surviving yaje but the thing is uko kazi ulikuwa naelewa ulikuwa unafanyishwa kazi utashika kazi yote so maybe that's the only upside now like okay. ungeiva kazi yako na hiyo ni na unaiva na lazima eh hapo tuko 21k but anyway um enough of muhindi so um when do you umeshafika kiricho and um you are now in your new role i'm assuming that um there's no prior experience to this role so how did you manage to grow yourself into that role so yeah i went to kiricho as just an intern like to tell you the truth i did not even know how to connect a solar panel I did not know what an inverter was as it okay nile tu na umlisomanga power electronics at inverter inafanyanga hivi but so the thing is ilifika tu huko like so una two sites now say just learning uh, from even not na connecting say mc4 connector kwa cable even though strings una calculate string voltage even though unafanya string currents even though unaangalia unasoma manual inverter unaelewa unahitaji nini like even though grounding ufanyo kama ni pia tulikuwa tunajenga distribution grids hivi ndo pole waamshwa pole inakwanga na hizi pole na lazima ikuwe na kama ni cross arm kama unajua depending kama ni AAC kama inatumia ABC hivi ndo pole so ilikuwa tu una learn tu pole 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 but so the major thing is ni mse mwingine anakufunza someone else was teaching me because i did not know any a leak of like nili, I, nilifanyanga internship Kenya power ile attachment So it was a distribution grid nilikuwa najua jua but for the solar side nilikuwa blank piece of paper so it was it was learning from people and sasa we pia also going same online youtube unaweza sasa ku hizi vitu zifanywaje hivyo tu like that there are a lot of youtubers under <laughs> this indian youtubers <laughs> they have a lot of knowledge <laughs> you just go watch them <laughs> okay yeah, but, so that's how i started yeah so um in touch people call long Six months, three months. Six months. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so and uh, six months. Afu na job ya ulikuwa unaenda huko. Unapiga kazi like you you do a good job eh? because uh, if you do a good job as you know at the end of the internship you will be absorbed because uh, no one atataka ku lose mtu anaona like hata mnana msaidia job. So yeah, nilipiga tu kazi na after internship imeisha Unapewa tu mani unajua za 3 months 3 months 3 months but unasukuma tu wewe unafanya job. Mhm. So but but the job was um would you say that in that period your internship um you were doing what you expected? I mean something that you wanted to do. Because sometimes uh, somebody could say oh I'm not in the position that I wanted to be. I'm not doing what I wanted to do. I'm a, why I went, I went to school but um kwa sababu inalipa bills uh, Let, let me let me let me do it so would you say you you are okay in what you're doing i would say i'm okay but for me i don't really view it i view it as a as a thing of necessity okay me for me i think what i will the thing that ingenifanya ni kwe what would have made me disappointed is if i would never be practicing engineering because i actually have a lot of classmates uh, the we have the, all of us but they've never practiced like an engineering job unapata mse alienda akafanya com science excuse me coda zengine so so for me i think i would have been disappointed if singe to me engineering but as to what field of engineering be it renewables be it uh, i believe it was just necessity nilijipata industry of renewables so i knew i have to be good at it and so i just went forward but i don't have regrets so because i know at least na nafanya kitu nilisoma i would have been more disappointed if same ningefanya bit something unrelated to because for, okay as for me i don't know for others as for me me i felt those five years were too long 
then just go and do something else. <laughs> but that's just, that's just me. Yeah. Um, I mean, there, there are also people who think that way, but um, story for another day. Yeah, so let's talk about your first um, project once you had the responsibility. Like, Sasa Derek Mujifunza Kazi, umepewa site, where Sasa Ushanza ku execute like Kivya without like having somebody above you that is uh, yeah teaching you in, for lack of a better word. Yeah, I so let's say you. Uh-huh. Sorry, I, go, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, were you saying something something else? Some uh, can I go? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think you've understood the question. You can proceed. Yeah, so I think uh, the first major responsibility it was still in Kiricho. Uh, but the, <laughs> I forgot to give you some context. So Kiricho, there's this. Uh, I'm sure most of you have heard. It's called uh, Finlay's, James Finlay's Kenya. Penya on a panda chai, the, the big company. So there's Finlay's and there's Unilever tea. So that's where our projects were. So the project in Finlay's was basically grid extension and uh, adding new customers to the grid. Because this is an area where previously there was no power. As for, you know, the staff quarters, koalas, on a chuna chai, on a katamiti, such, such things. So my first major, it was, it was a site, it was a kitumbe, bonde. It was uh, having how many? 98 households. So my I was now as a project manager. So you're coordinating the overall installation works for that site. So what does that mean? Like I did the survey for the site, did the customer survey, did the local infrastructure survey. I did the design, came up with the build of materials. Then now so, so you, you go to contractors, you go reach out to, we have a, a list of contractors, you do contractor evaluation, you meet with them. So basically, you know, project management is, because us, we used to subcontract our, our work. Because uh, if you can see, if you can see our sites there, we used to use something called underground reticulation. We were not using overhead inside the villages. Look on a picture cable chain. So you need a contractor, I'm talking about a chamber, another contractor of finding internal wiring. So you're dealing with those contractors, uh, writing progress reports, reporting to now through the project principal. So that was my first major. It was a site of about 98. It was a steep learning curve because now Kumbuka, I think the first week to Lipeleka material site, due to Lif- I don't know what happened. You know, we used to be given like an empty house on site. Someone broke in, Akaiba, oh yeah, this is patresses, CGE, wall plugs, Akaiba, roll, camera roll, Tano, at TWE. <laughs> so those are the, the challenges. Those are, you have to go start explaining to this is how it will put it in your But that was my major, first major like responsibility. So that's it. I, I did it in uh, about two months. So then once Fanya installation, internal wiring, everything, Fanya testing, commissioning. Then I also did the ass bills, and then, then the site went live. So that was the first. Then now after that, after Kitumbe Bonde, uh, when I, 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 I did for a father, how many was that? There was Simotwet, Victoria, Tarakwet, Kifaru, Kulikwana, Masobet A, Masobet B, uh, Koilel, Tetan. Uh, yeah, those are, I did uh, six more sites now. So, so, but so the more the more sites on a fanya sasa ndo unaanza gain incremental knowledge of sasa how to effectively run a site uh, dealing with contractors dealing with the disputes for customers so things like that yeah um two points uh come out from that uh response um <clears throat> and one I would want to press on on the question of um uh, kupoteza materials so how 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 did you handle that and and um, how do you even come to know that material may put See, normally when you go to site you have a materials list like you know exactly what you have. Come on, meters cable. I know exa- I have exactly ten rolls. Misumari ni kona kilo i. Like you 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 have to have that list because remember after you complete the site we'll do something called an as built BOM. Like this was used in Rikabaki. So you have to keep track. So, so weekly, I used to do inventory. So the contractor has used this, and this is in store. So to a deficit here. So that's how you track material users. So, but we let you have lay maybe where it was just simple. We just came one morning on a patam language me vunjo. This is how we have to use a buzzing or a caraca. We have to go ah, we have to add road car tano. We have to see you. Even stupid things like pee clips. I don't know why someone is stealing plastic 
the 2.5 mm p clip sijua anapeleka wapi so but yeah but uh-huh. generally when you're on set as a project manager you have to be aware especially materials because some contractors are unscrupulous i don't know if that's the right word atakuibia material if you're not careful so you need to know umetumia ngapi leo na ngapi umebaki kwa store and that store is a control area like only i have the key na mkubwa wa contractor if you want to go there like mimi nafungu leo na vitu kama controls so part of the project management is just managing such things because remember these materials are money and at the end of the day we want the project to be profitable so we don't want to, to, to have now such losses so that's just a, also a part of now the, the project management process yeah so so this this um uh, let me say ways of management uh we know that um, you are coming from being an intern was there a site that you commissioned before you now being given the responsibility yeah. of uh, commissioning a site um, uh... yeah as an intern there were other sites that you was in there that were ongoing construction so you you know you now went with the engineer there those are an engineer alikuwa anaitwa Emmanuel yeah 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 ali mifunza nga vitu mob sana protege so he will go and site na eh unajua like even ndo tunafanya like just shadowing you just learn on the go anakuambia unajua so i was also yeah psc at ulikuwa na katuko fi pia unaenda site as an inter so yeah you was you just learning on the go then sasa once they feel that tuna na umeshika shika tunaweza kupea sasa site yako ujaribu tu then we evaluate one if you're ready oh so so he site he site ya kwanza ilikuwa kama mtiani and and um, hmm. yeah for, for the two months you were able to prove yourself that you can manage Yeah basically that was the gist uh, you umekuwa you you've been here the past couple of months years you've been helping around all the sites umekuwa kizunguka because we have you have it was a big project we have like in finlays almost 100 sites in Unilever kuna 16 so ilikuwa unaenda na hiyo ndio time construction ndio ilikuwa imeanza for all of them so you go to different sites with different project managers you you now you see it's upon you now to absorb because hakuna mtu of course hakuna mtu atakufuata ti jua hii jua hii jua hii so you want to absorb to absorb una pia unafanya kazi pia unafanya wiring kwa nyumba you know hizo ndo vitu zinakusaidia hata wewe kama pm like uwezi kuja you can always kuja unidanganye ati hii nyumba imekula mita fulani ya kebo because wewe mwenyewe ushaifanya wiring kwa nyumba inatoshana hivyo so you can so, so <laughs> you know i think the thing is called experience on the job wewe pia unafanya wiring wewe pia unabeba solar panels unazifanya unatengeza string una crimp cables so yeah okay um so so kusiana na contractor management and and uh, you also mentioned that you you also doing contractor evaluation what were some of the things you were looking at uh, when doing contractor evaluations so contractor evaluations it was based on the performance of the contractor on previous projects for the very first projects they were working blind but so of course umepata your contractor amefanya same like 10 sites then now you can you can you can so you like our evaluation model we had a excel sheet let me try to remember it was like looking at uh, material management how is he using material unajua um, contractor mwingine same materials kama patresses watu wake like wanavunja patress wanafanya sijui ni wana like unajua so how is he managing materials umempea Uh, work rate kama mmelewana tunafanya 21 houses a day it's 21 houses a day usikuje ufanye 10 wanze kunipatia excuses also uh, punctuality like one thing we usually hate umefika site mbele ya contractor we, like then the contractor comes in like we had one contractor na ingia site 10 am like sasa like you know after this i can't work with such a person so punctuality equipment uh, material management uh also rapo this peer on a personal level kwa watu wengine like <laughs> you know as a pm you can't work with this contractor lakini someone else can so it's not a technical uh, issue but it exists so because the, over the time there were some contractors you made a very good rapo with like mnaelewana hivi ndo kazi iko na once kazi imeenda akusumbui another thing we used to look at you know these sites were zilikuwa interior unajua kwa niko findes ndani kwa chai So there are some contractors like ana method ana means za transport ya kufikisha watu wake site. So wanachelewa, wanafanya nini? So now going forward we start looking for contractors who have vehicles because to mitigate that uh, issue. What else were we looking at? Uh, also snags. Once tumemaliza site, 
we do now we know we we will uh, especially for like internal wiring to tender house by house we have a test sheet sasa as a sports and to do testing then we not same unapata you know you we, we give them like a static detail like sockets must be x millimeters above from the floor uh, light switches must be x millimeters from the floor and to the door uh, the bulb holders must be placed here wiring in a five and uv like unajua clear wiring and concise wiring it need to need work so here at the end of the project tunafanya hiyo then if a contractor has a tendency to have too many because snag before because if a site has snags we cannot commission it last not to retain a site we rectify those snags so tena uh, over the course of the ukiona like a contractor has a tendency what work ya wafanyangi kazi poa so then you start rejecting such a contract so things like that yeah so so um is it snags how would you come to know that um a certain site has snags ama mnaenda kupima house by house you know tama we had now checklists of our own tests tutafanya voltage test tutafanya earth resistivity test tutafanya loop tests what else because kulikuwa na loop test tutafanya tutafanya loop loop test tutafanya earth resistivity tutafanya mega tuta mega cable zote kwa nyumba tutafanya kwa consumer wood tutafanya voltage tests tutafanya socket testing ndio unapata mtu ali interchange live na neutral kwa sockets vitu kama hizo so tutafanya socket testing utafungua jd zote uangalie ndani so we had a checklist mnaangalia so una you tick it off like wiring inafaa kwa design hii seme kama ni socket inafaa kwa this distance from the floor e, kama ni bulb holder seme akushikilia bulb bulb holder inafaa kwa this section of the room if iko kwa in the other section so ni vitu kama hizo so you have your own checklist unapitia house by house but the one of the, the for any projects be it uh, internal wiring or solar commissioning now na kuanga like nseme msema kweli it is the most important bit before you commission a site you must make sure every single detail is in order so that is something that is taken very seriously yeah so um if you have like you said 98 connections hizo ni siku ngapi mtapima hivyo bit by bit uh, unit by unit but the user is not you alone because sasa you are the pm then you have oh, other employees or pardon like uh, foreman uko nao kama watatu so hiyo 98 houses mnapiga kama it's not difficult by the way once you know what you're doing So you know a bigger like 20 houses a day it's not difficult but <laughs> once you know what you're doing yeah okay so um and, and once the snag is identified it is the responsibility of the contractor to rectify yeah because remember one payment model we used to use uh, for the contractor we, we have a quote to mele wana same for site a you'll be paid same a million bob so we'll give you 20% before the work and that is mobilization but he needs money to pay for the site fuel for the generators nini kufanya ndo afanyie testing nini so things like that then after work you may complete your you'll be given uh, 50% so that's in total 70 then after commissioning ndo tapewa yenye mebaki that's 30% so any snag you record and you refer it back to the contractor atakuja arekebisha and then you come and check it again to make sure that i'm rekebisha vizuri okay <coughs> okay Yeah so um during this period that um it ulikuwa ukifanya ikazi ya kwa PM um other than contractor challenges is, is there anything significant uh, on the side of being a PM that you can mention that uh, was a challenge challenges are PM basically challenges to me if you get sound designs not a challenge so challenges in akamnas you know like one thing i can think of the head it no joke it is so scary too it's very wet uko and you have deadlines unapata uh, it starts raining at 11 am and it rains like that for two weeks so you start getting behind on your deadlines like you know meleona the client the client who is now finless that is said to normalize trenching by date this installation of uh, underground cables by date this common internal wiring by date this commissioning to master by date this so i think the biggest issue we really kuanga when timelines start uh, slipping away from you because sasa hapo even if it's sunday mtaenda site and then so it was things like that and though there are some things okay you just have to get with the experience so your customer disputes That's... like there's this project ulikuwa sasa kisi so kisi hiyo ilikuwa underground ilikuwa overhead then sasa ile unajua this is not a controlled like like living area kama fine so kutu nigeshagi huko kwa village. So unapata huyu mtu amekosana na jirani yake, saa hataki upitishe pole kwa shamba yake ati ndio mpe stima. Unajua vitu kama hizo. 
So it was just it was just a experience. But I think the major issue we required to put number one tracking materials because once we prepare material site, out of the crude oil opportunity, at least to hypothesize, so it was tracking materials. Kama kisi another ni ko transporting those materials to site, put a few material security. Kama kuna abeshtia mu alibi wa pole, lizi pole za nine meters. Wado alikuja wakabeba usiku. I don't understand how. So security for those poles, uh, dealing with logistics, and also now dealing with contractors, especially ukipata contractor mwenye anasumbua. Watu waki ya anasumbua, they are taking shortcuts. Unapata badale ya kutumia junction box, ndo kufanya zeme lighting, ame loop tu vitu, like, wanapenda tu shortcuts. So yondo, yondo ita kukula kichwa. Yeah, um, hapo kwa yoko ntote wanasumbua, for example, kama msa inapenda shortcuts. Um, what was, would, would you force that guy to come back and do the thing correctly? Um, uh, how how yes. was it handled? Because I remember I told you, before ndo upate pesa yako yote, I must sign off as the engineer, that waki kopua. So if I don't sign off, upate do yako. So it's, it's simple as that. And the guys would comply? Yes. Um, the man, <laughs> <laughs> like <Demano>. you, <laughs> you, you are you are doing and kuna standards kuna fota i gave you there's a reason to prepare design we will take easy vitu see to to nikwambia hii same epv array tumekwambia ina five face south ama ina five face this number of degrees because unajua unapata some guys so mmo mwambia hii pv tunafaa tuweke at an azimuth of same 85 degrees yeah na unafikiria unajua ukikuja commission tutakuja na hiyo ni nina tutapima na itatuambia umeka 100 na tutakwambia utoe array urudishe so <laughs> so it's, it's it's like how was that saying my way or the highway like do not compromise on standards and quality so yeah so come on a contractor likes shortcuts mna gonga na tu vicho adia like pia una kwa mkali okay see, maybe kwa mkali is not the correct terminology but you become firm and you tell him this is what we expect okay so um for example sasa uh contractor amefanya kazi yake shortcut and then this person who says bora inafanya and then uh, yeah, man, um, Kenya, stima imefika is what is killing people la mhm unapata like simple things mtu amefanya wiring they have not labeled ametumia la wasema ametumia wire ya black and this this is a live this is a new live wire it's not a new you know if you're using a black cable simple piga tape ya red hapo ndo mtu akikuja hapo later anajua ini cable iko live is such things so e kitu ya tibora stima ifike is very dangerous okay okay uh yeah. fair enough on contractors i i <laughs> i know this is this is a, um, a hot topic that uh, we might want to revisit as mhandisi so babu yeah we also realize that um, certain people like a lot of shortcuts and and you are uh, i had a friend of mine who speaking about um, such an incident like kama anafanyia kazi serikali where somebody now starts bad mouthing you and saying oh i have not been paid because derek has refused to sign the documents were there such instances um um okay kwa to farm company na sema okay go and make peace with the engineer but ah uh, it's the same okay if same if me come on projects minimum mamia say same if kina bangura in sierra leone if they come to me on anambia this contractor like you know the contractor now may come to me at yao watu wamekata but ah uh, you clear it with the engineer on the field Mimi sitaki kusikia stories za kumina sikia story ya engineer zao. If he says your work is not to code, you're not getting paid. It's simple as that. But yeah, there are those instances sasa ati ati anaenda ku complain kwa mkubwa wako. But pia kampuni is like that. Pia like kuna mwambia ah deal na wewe mtu nimekupea naye kwa site. Okay, okay. Wisdom. Um a very a very good point to pick on. Uh so ukachapa kuwa pm kufanya pm for how many years and then you transition so nilifanya pm hadi 2020 at about uh ilikuwa feb so when we when you finish the project in kericho so after that so so long i came back to nairobi now started a position now as a design engineer so with a bias uh, specifically for designing our solar power systems that we deploy around africa Okay and 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 how was the process um uh, you just uh, raised uh, raised your hand and said oh yeah um uh, engineering i want to transition now from being a pm to do design work okay so, the process was uh you remember our engineering boss then so they wanted someone they were they were opening an open position 
So like alikuwa anasema why should we hire from outside and yet we have a person najua najua hii job ako kiricho na kuna project imewind down huko. So si tumlete tu huko. So it was something like that. Okay okay okay. So the boss wako ndio like I mean was was happy with your work and wanted to keep you and therefore brought you to closer to his team I mean being in his team actually. Yeah yeah. Because they wanted they were, it was an open position they wanted to source uh, outside but akakata. Okay okay. Yeah so since then you've been working as a design engineer I presume. Yeah so basically okay <laughs> is the design engineer may be short changing the position a bit because it's everything basically you also do some pm things because there are some sites when you nasimamia kama project engineer like when you na coordinate kila kitu vile mna deal na vendors vile mnafanya vendor quotes evaluations uh, preparing sops preparing commissioning documents and that's basically support now for people on the site kama one thing yeah it's just like that okay uh um so for the for the various um, projects that you've done um, what is the biggest project that you have done as a design engineer in terms of uh, the size so i think currently the uh, have i really listed it because uh, there's a uh, there's a uh, garamba uh, faraje the garamba the two sides that's faraje and tadu faraje was a uh, faraje was 400 kilo peak tadu was 160 uh, what else there's uh, Miro, Miro is 236 kilowatt peak. There's uh, Ofosu, Ofosu is a uh, 1 megawatt peak. Uh, I think that's the biggest so far, Ofosu. That's in Nigeria, that. Okay. Uh, yeah. <coughs> so, um, in, in your transition to be a design engineer, um, so, of course, you, you have carried along this idea that, uh, yeah, you, you learn, you learn each and every day. Um, umetoka huko kwa muhindi umeingia umekuwa pm kidogo uh, ndio umefika umshakuwa design engineer did you come into the design team as um, already a well packaged guy um, uh, there are things that you so came and found ah easy ju naanza kulana fresh sasa ndo uh, for uh, how can i put yeah the nilikuja the design team definitely there are some things siko najua especially simulation software that we used uh, in a uh, pv that is software like pvc helioscope and uh coma so i had to learn that now from scratch so ilikuwa unajifunza hizo zote then so unajua unajifunza na project try you na you reference to other engineers work so nikajifunza hiyo but yeah nikikuja design okay the thing it kuja now na advantage at least when it came to the design i already nilikuwa na like site unajua one thing any engineers wana kuanga maybe na issue ukianza straight to design like you may not know unajua vitu zingine kama unapata engineer unamwambia mc4 connector hajui hiyo ni nini na hajui inatumikanga wapi but wewe ulikuwa site unajua hiyo ndio inatumika kuconnect strings so hiyo ndio i think ndio ilikuwa advantage ni kwa but i had also it was also learning like you have to read like sasa sasa design standards these ic standards you have to read them understand them so that your designs are compliant to them so but yeah it uh, it was also a, it was a lot of learning also and also now you as you know as pagen we have our own internal design processes so also aligning yourself to those tools and processes so i can't say i came with a lot of uh, design knowledge it was a lot of site knowledge sasa ni you design sasa ni kalanta za tena but as is that's true for engineering it's a daily learning uh, process like you cannot speak a, you can't reach a stage you say na jua kila kitu Okay um so, so one of the things that uh, is actually coming out clearly is, is the aspect of uh, learning and relearning eh? and yeah. just accepting that uh, yeah e sijui e um tunafanya the app and that also brings in the question on um um in terms of uh, speaking to the persons that uh, had knowledge like the senior engineers yeah um how was that relationship for example would you is it that uh, some people a project um kunaenda kwa ule mse like you go first research on your own and then come ask questions or you would be like okay and uh, me delegate your task so how, how did you go about it how did you approach that um uh, facilitating knowledge transfer so i think for me number one ilikuwa researching like you've been told we need this so you go research 
but then, but then it is a very good uh, platform youtube you can learn a lot of things up you go find your research and also as you understand in and uh, it's very cordial you just go to the senior you know maybe they kitu mnafanya ngaje like even in, like me if someone comes to me like nakwambia because yeah and you know pia is with a bias because i also if i tell you next time sasa your cousin ndakupea you know it it less it less it lessens my load so yeah but in evil so like e kazi mnafanya ngaje or nimeifanya hivi is there a better way to do it like unampea na ku review like here you can do this, here you can do this, refer to this standard, refer to this standard, uh, you know, normally you can do this. So it's a lot of research, but okay, for me, for my, from experience, I don't know for others, engineers in Pawajan are very like, you can tell me what you want to say, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a, I don't, I don't see why someone has a lot of knowledge, I don't, I doubt you people do that, but so for me, for my experience, it was like that it was uh you just uh, i just used to ask you remember my boss uh, the guy called kennedy you just ask him atakuambia kila kitu he didn't take end of some app after a book some app nini hivyo tu oh yeah we just as ingine there there are people who think eh umse ni kimwonesha hii kazi atakuwa amenyanganya and 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 people hold some people hold information and they feel like eh um i need to protect my job actually but um yeah fair enough so um th- there's a lot of information actually that's being shared here and uh, we we can't exhaust all of it um so other than uh, being a design engineer at Powerzen is there anything else uh, Derek is doing uh currently uh what can i say i'm doing maybe some small jobs on the side uh you know una tafuta licenses huko nje like you look for T3 you look for C1 solar water heating you get them then so so you start doing some small jobs on the side cause pia cause why not you have the knowledge so what currently i do on the side i've done a few solar home systems not big like the biggest one i've done is about um, 12 kilowatt peak i uh, also do some solar water pumping for some guys who kungong uko this place ni to ngaje kimuka mtu amechimba borehole anataka solar unakuja unamwekea so that's basically what i do on the side anything in related to solar uh yeah i i do it if i can get it yeah and and why did you decide to go for t3 see i mean knowing very well that we have other options as t2 okay it was uh, for us part of it was a company policy you know then kirito they they declared everyone here needs to get a t3 <laughs> so we had to go out and uh, register for the exam to kasoma ilikuwa kianguka wenye walianguka mtiani wakaenda utarudi mtiani tena i don't know why but the, the team that was in kiricho it was made mandatory for us to get that license so i guess that's what pushed me the first place okay so, so, uh, so there was a project you were bidding for it required every technician on site yeah yeah it required every technician on site to possess a t3 so i think that is what uh, pushed pushed us Okay and and would you say that um uh for the period that you've been having this license um it has added uh let me say um value to you like uh you make sure you can get some other things that you haven't got without your license yeah there's a guy to limfanya solar water pumping he was a bit reluctant you know anasema i have a friend aliyeke wa solar ikaribika au ni kwa walikuwa naeka wako wanajua but when you show him the license he's like ah it was up so <laughs> so yeah it's it helps uh, it helps okay uh um, that's um that's that's actually good to know um yeah so proceeding on to something else so um from so from 2018 to now uh it's about four years and as as um uh, uh we you, you're also saying that um i mean from from your profile on linkedin you're also saying that you are uh, registered with the board um what's your opinion about registering as a professional engineer when you say that like you have qualified to even make 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 your um, i mean present yourself for consideration as a registration registration for professional engineer uh, i think uh, the process uh, many people say it's difficult and punitive Um, I don't know but I feel like once you know the game if you know how to play it you can play it 
So I believe uh, once you know what is required of you, you need to also out of the two project. Uh, go there are a lot of mentorship programs uko in the kama the ones that IEK is offering. Just go and up uh, they teach you how to write the report vizuri. So the issue is now getting the project that you can present before the board. But uh, based on what I've seen a lot of the people who go for those mentorships almost all of them usually end up being PEs. So I just it's just a matter of knowing how to play the game. So <laughs> that's something I'm also trying now to do. Well, since ni sasa nimefikia hapo so it's just uh, isolating a project that i know it akwa for then sasa i also join those mentorships so ni you know, they you they train you a lot how you write the report how to structure it how to kuongea mbele ya board to come now you're being mentored by other pe's so i think uh ni kujaribu to cause that's the game you just have to play it and uh, i don't know I don't know. They, of course, there have been complaints from graduate engineers saying maybe the, the process is unity. Maybe it is, but because I don't see anything changing anytime soon. Okay, so you are, you are a proponent of being a professional engineer because now somebody else would say, ah, why, why struggle? What is the point? And uh, it doesn't put food on my table. Um, Again, it depends with your circumstance. You know, there's a guy, like I have a friend of mine, Ali Patanga Job, uh, this place in Itwangaji. What is it called? Uh, WFP. And the salary is like, ni muenda, ni wazimu. Like, I, so someone like that, like, do I need it? So I think it's, it's just depends on you. It may be important to you. It may not be important to other people. Well, I also remember we graduated with a lot of guys. There's this course that was offered in JQ called uh, Electronic and Computer Engineering. But apparently at that time, EBK were like, this is not a accredited course. So I remember those guys graduated. They've never been registered by the board. But so many, so many of them are doing so well. So <laughs> again, it just depends with what you want. So it may be important to you. It may be not important to someone else. But for me, I think uh, if you are for standardizing engineering practice, I, I think it's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. So in one or two sentences, uh, what do we expect from Derek in the coming uh, five, ten years? <laughs> uh, usually, some people may call me short-sighted, but <laughs> I just take it one day at a time. Like, if I want to say this year, I want to know this skill. That's a tip. Which I think for me, the major thing right now is uh, chasing uh, accreditation as a PE. I think that's, that's the major for me right now, but I don't know how to put this. Uh, I can't say at in attack and request, you manage yourself. I know those things will come with skill and experience. So I, I think my, my major thing is just improving my knowledge. Because if people know you're good and they know you're good at what you do, that's, I mean, that's it. So, yeah, I, I, how can I put this? Not, not afterwards. <laughs> I really don't do the at a plan at any corner concrete at a five year plan. I don't do that. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Just, yeah. uh, you know the mantra: yeah, be better every day. Be better today than you are tomorrow. <laughs> That's just yeah. It. yeah, yeah. I I I understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And um, that's fair. Um, thank you, Derek. Um, thank you even for your time. And even as we conclude. Um, do you have a quote that you want to be remembered with? <laughs> I, I think we ought to be better every day. Learn something today that you did not know yesterday. That's the only way I feel, I feel uh, to move forward in anything, not just engineering, even other things. Uh, no, you come all way. You've learned something today that you did not know yesterday. So that's that, that's how you progress forward in life. Uh, ne- ne- never make it reach a point that you're stagnated. I think that's now the uh, something you should avoid. So, uh, yeah, what to be remembered with? Yeah, be better every day. Um, and, and that is it. Um... Hi, this is Okello, producer of this podcast, Mohandisi the Engineer's Podcast. We are grateful to have had this conversation with Derek Wanyoni. As we come to the close of this episode, I'd like to take a moment to share some of my highlights from the episode. My very first highlight was the means through which Derek managed to get to work at PowerGen. His first application was for an engineering associate position, and though he didn't get it, 
Pajin kept his contacts. And a couple of months later, they called him with an offer of an internship. This goes to show that sometimes, even if you aren't 100% qualified for an advertised position, it may pay to apply just as a way of letting the decision makers know that you exist. My second highlight is the mode of payment that Derek applies when dealing with contractors on a project. That is, 20% is paid as mobilization, 50% is paid once the work is complete, and the final 30% is paid once the work is commissioned. This is a good model to ensure the contractor renders a service that is up to code. My final highlight would be how he ended up getting absorbed into PowerGen. As his internship was ending, it also happened that the company was in need of a design engineer and was planning to look for one from outside the company. However, Derek's boss was vehement that the offer should be given to Derek. This was most definitely a vote of confidence in Derek's abilities and goes to show that the resolve he made to be the best it could be in the renewable field was starting to show. All in all, this was a pretty insightful conversation and I hope you learned something new. Thanks for listening and I hope to have you listen in on the next episode. If you're hearing this message, you've listened to the entire episode and for that, we want to say a big thank you. Remember that you can listen to Mkandisi, the engineer's podcast, anytime, anywhere on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Spotify. And please leave us a review whenever you listen. Thanks again, and see you next week.